Range script loaded, you can now press escape, select, choose slot, and pick your aircraft. You have chosen to start the mission in the air, please increase the throttle lever to maintain a 200 knot speed. Use trim to level the aircraft and navigate towards waypoint 2. Maintain 200 knots and climb to arrive at the next waypoint at an altitude of 7000 feet. Press spacebar once you have trimmed the aircraft. The A-29 Bravo has five weapon stations, one on the fuselage centerline and four underwing and can carry a total of 3,300 pounds of stores. Currently, the DCS A-29 can load the following types of bombs. Mark 81 and 82, low drag general purpose bombs of 250 and 500 pounds. M117, general purpose bomb of 750 pounds. CBU-97, cluster bomb of 1,000 pounds, for anti-armor use. CBU-105, same as CBU-97 but with inertial guidance kit. On this training mission, we will use the Mark 82 and the M117. On this mission, the predefined load is four Mark 82 bombs under the wings, and one M117 under the fuselage. We will drop them singly or in pairs, during several passes over the range target, in order to better practice the delivery profile. Perform the bombing passes on a west to east general direction, so that the mission logic can keep track of them. You can make as many passes as you want, while you still have any bombs left. You can access the attack statistics calling up the F-10 option of the communications menu. The procedure for dropping bombs is as follows. Master arm safety switch knob, set to live. Late arm switch, lift its cover with a right click, and set to on, with a second right click. This, on the UFCP, press the AG quick button to activate the air to ground mode. Next, press the barrel radar alt quick button to enable the use of the radar altimeter on the targeting computations, to improve accuracy. You can tell it is enabled, because the HUD will show CCIP, R, and the CCIP drop line will appear on the HUD, the small circle at the end of the drop line marks the impact point of the bomb. A small X over this circle will show if the computer can't yet reach a valid firing solution. You will have to place the aircraft on a dive of at least 35 degrees and when a valid altitude is reached the X will disappear. Then you have to maneuver the aircraft such that the impact point circle is directly over the desired target and at that moment press the weapon release button on the stick. We will use the stores management system page on the left MFD to configure our weapons. Click on the highlighted SMS button. As we have previously selected a G mode on the UFCP, the SMS automatically shows the air to ground page. The highlighted button allows you to toggle amongst the various weapons carried. On this case you can toggle between the 4 Mark 82 and the single M117. Try it. The selected weapons will be enclosed by a box. Select the Mark 82s and press spacebar to continue. This is the release mode, it can be set to single or pairs. For this mission we will use single in order to make as many passes over the target as possible. Pairs can only be used with the underwing stations. This is the ripple quantity, it is used when you want to drop several bombs in sequence. Ripple is quantified in pulses, so if you have selected that pairs are to be released then two pulses would release four bombs in two groups of two bombs each. This is the ripple interval, expressed in meters between each ground impact. For example, if you set it to 50 meters and drop five bombs, they would form an impact line of 200 meters on the ground. 
Here you arm the bomb fuses, each bomb can have a nose and or a tail fuse, the options are, nose, tail, and plus T, and safe, for when you need to drop them outside the combat area. Finally, here you set the delivery mode to be used for releasing these bombs. Click on the button to see all the available modes. CCIP, constantly computed impact point, requires a greater than 40 degree dive delivery, and enable the radar altimeter for proper accuracy. Man, manual mode, using a predefined site depression value, which depends on the dive angle, speed and release altitude. CCRP, continually computed release point, requires designating the target by placing a waypoint over it. Allows weapon delivery using level, dive or toss bombing, the pilot flies on a straight line and the weapon computer determines the bomb release point. DTOS, dive toss, it is used to throw away the bomb as far as it is possible, to evade or to prevent entering in the engagement zone of a threat. Not implemented yet. During this training mission, we will use CCIP, so be sure to have that selected and then click on AG to return to the main SMS page. We have reached waypoint 2. Turn right to enter the weapon's range on an easterly heading. The bombing target circle is identified by a long arrow that points at it on a 90 degree direction. Don't head directly to the target, or the nose of your aircraft will hide it instead fly to a heading just to the right or left of the target such that you can barely see it looking beside the nose. Keep an altitude of at least 6,000 feet. Once the target is near the point where the canopy frame joins with the fuselage, it is time to begin our dive towards the target. Roll the aircraft until almost inverted and pull on the stick to dive, reduce throttle, extend air brake, keep the target in sight and reverse the roll once it's in front of you. Keep the CCIP line aligned on the target, wait until the X disappears and then quickly place the dot over the target and then press the weapon release. Pull back on the stick to exit the dive and climb back up, retract the air brake and increase throttle. Good pass, turn back 180 degrees towards a westerly heading, and perform another pass. Start climbing back to at least 7000 feet. Check the SMS to confirm that there is a bomb selected for the next pass. Once the target is near the point where the canopy frame joins with the fuselage, it is time to begin our dive towards the target. Roll the aircraft until almost inverted and pull on the stick to dive, reduce throttle, extend air brake, keep the target in sight and reverse the roll once it's in front of you. Keep the CCIP line aligned on the target, wait until the X disappears and then quickly place the dot over the target and then press the weapon release. 
Pull back on the stick to exit the dive and climb back up, retract the air brake and increase throttle. Good pass, turn back 180 degrees towards a westerly heading, and perform another pass. Start climbing back to at least 7,000 feet. Check the SMS to confirm that there is a bomb selected for the next pass. Once the target is near the point where the canopy frame joins with the fuselage, it is time to begin our dive towards the target. Roll the aircraft until almost inverted and pull on the stick to dive, reduce throttle, extend air brake, keep the target in sight and reverse the roll once it's in front of you. Keep the CCIP line aligned on the target, wait until the X disappears and then quickly place the dot over the target and then press the weapon release. Pull back on the stick to exit the dive and climb back up, retract the air brake and increase throttle. You have no more bombs left. You should now navigate towards waypoint 4 to return to Anapa Air Base. Deactivate the armament, with this procedure, master arm safety switch knob, set to safe. Late arm switch, set to off and close its cover. On the UFCP, press the nav quick button, to change mode back to navigation. You can check your range results, by calling up the communications menu, select F10, other, then select F1, range, finally click F3, my bombing results. Please, press spacebar once you have reviewed your results. You have completed the main subject of this training mission, select an option. Press backspace if you want to fly back and land at Anapa, or press spacebar to end the training now. You have selected to end the mission now. You have selected to end the